Hello everyone, Mario here with another episode of Coffee, Tacos and Real Estate. Today we're in Maitland, one of the oldest incorporated suburbs in Central Florida. Let's go. Here we are walking down Maitland City Center full of shopping and dining options. A little bit about Maitland though, Maitland gets its name from the local lake which is part of the larger chain of lakes here in Winter Park and Maitland. Maitland is home to about 22,000 residents and what's cool about it is that you're close to an urban metropolis like Orlando but you still have the small town suburban quaint feel of Maitland. But this is a show about coffee, tacos and real estate so let's go to our first stop Bubbles and Company. Here we are, first stop of our tour, Bubbles and Company in the very popular intersection of Lake Avenue 1792. This store has been open for a little over a year and although they specialize in bubble tea, they also have very great coffee. I'm enjoying the white chocolate mocha which is perfect. Also, I decided to get a s'mores cookie because it just looked delicious on the display. <laughs> Maitlandians love to support the local community. And one of those trendy places here is right across the street. It's the NZN Movie Theater, which is a nonprofit art house. It hosts the Florida Film Festival and it showcases a lot of older movies that are popular and a lot of artistic movies that are trending. You can also catch an expo at the Maitland Art Center or if you wanted to further dive into the community events. Every Sunday you have a farmer's market, a Maitland city center that has bound houses, has a lot of uh, food trucks, and sometimes even has live music. It's one of those great events that happens every Sunday and Maitland does it right. So as I mentioned, this is a very popular intersection where we're having our coffee at Bubble & Company. And just down the street from here, you have Copper Rocket, which is also another staple bar for the community. It was actually featured on Bar Rescue in 2018 and renovated the whole place. Since then, it's become even more popular, hosting a lot of open mic nights, um, karaoke nights, trivia nights. It's a great place to be. And in the same plaza, we have Mediterranean Street Food, which is gonna be our next stop. And I know this show is about tacos, but if you can't fight the right tacos, what do you do? Then you go for the next best thing, which is a Greek taco, which is called the gyro. And we're gonna find that in our next stop, Mediterranean street food. Let's go. So here we are, about to enjoy our gyro. We also got a chicken souvlaki or chicken gyro. And I mean, look at this. It's practically a taco, right? Except you probably need to hold it with both hands and kind of work your way in there. But it's essentially the same experience. So as you saw, Mediterranean street food is a stand. And although they have a sitting area there, we decided to take our food here in Lake Lily. The weather is perfect today. So what a great place to eat your food and enjoy nature. So did the gyro or the taco come first? I'm gonna go ahead and say the Euro came first, simply because the Greek civilization existed before the Mayans. But before even the Greeks, it was probably the Egyptians that formed this pita bread of some kind of bread of sorts and they stuffed it with things. Then it was the Greeks, then you have the Ottomans, and then at some point, the Mayans and Mexicans came along with the taco and we absolutely love it. So this was a great dining option in lieu of tacos, the Greek gyro. But if you wanted to have some other of the trendy spots here in Maitland, you go to Anthony's Italian, Francesco's Italian is actually one of my favorite. You can go to Luke's Kitchen, or if you wanted to have a milkshake and a Philly cheesesteak, then you go to Capi's, which is very popular amongst the community. On top of that, Maitland is located along I-4, which is a big artery for Orlando and the suburbs and the beaches also. And it has a Sunrail station right here in town to provide further convenience for transportation. If you live in Maitland or Orlando in general, you hear a lot about the Maitland Exchange. 
And that's where a lot of big corporations are out of, such as EA Sports, Charles Schwab, and Fidelity Financial. On top of that, in the same intersection, you have the RDV Sportsplex, which houses a state-of-the-art gym with ice hockey fields and tennis courts. Fun fact, Orlando has a hockey team. They're called the Solar Bears, and they train out of there. And also, the Orlando Magic trains out of the Sportsplex as well. Here we are in the typical Maitland home that has been renovated. Let's go inside, check it out, and talk a little bit about the area in general. So here we are in this beautiful home. This home is 2,000 square feet and listed for 550, which represents a very good value for the area, considering it's been completely renovated and with some trendy finishes. As you can see here, they elected to go with open shelving, which is popular right now with the buyers, and less is more, right? Open countertops, a lot of whites and a lot of grays, but then you have this popping backsplash that brings attention to the kitchen, and it's awesome. Oftentimes, when we're going for a listing appointment, the seller will ask, hey Mario, does the place look better with furniture or without furniture? And my answer to that is, depends on your furniture. If you have nice furniture, then yes. If not, then let's work on maybe emptying out the space or stage it like the sellers did. And they did a good job staging it. Staging can come in handy, particularly if you have like a quirky layout. This place is pretty straightforward, but still it brings attention to the beautiful rooms here. And as you can tell, they left some elements of wood around it to uh, further extenuate some of the, uh, the, the, the openings here in the area. As you will notice in this particular home, the rooms are a little bit smaller, closets are a little bit smaller, and you also have eight foot ceilings. And that's gonna be the case in a lot of homes here in Maitland, predominantly were built in the 70s, so that's what you're gonna get. But if you are buying here and it's a great place to buy, what you should look out for is cloth wiring, Federal Pacific electric panels, and termites, also unpermitted additions from previous owners. On top of all the culture, history, and great places to visit here in Maitland, you also have another attractive proposition in the school. Maitland is divided into Seminole and Orange County, but there's a high preference in the schools located in Orange County. For that reason, the price per square foot in homes located in the Orange County portion of Maitland is a lot higher. On top of that, you have JCC, the Jewish Community Center, which is a great school, and Orangewood Academy, which is very preferred among the residents here of Maitland. Thank you for checking out Maitland with me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this quaint town, close to all the action, and our episode of Coffee, Tacos, and Real Estate. We started off our tour at Bubbles & Company, then had the equivalent to a Greek taco at Mediterranean Street Food, and checked out a beautiful home here in Maitland. My name is Mario Zendeli with the Zen Home Group, and if you feel like Maitland is the place to be for you, we'd love to help you out. Catch you in the next episode.